Hey you, my name is Joseph Warren and I help people take their finances, public speaking skills, and lives to the next level. Today I'm going to be talking about the stark difference between how rich people view time and how poor people, or not so rich people, view their time. This is actually something I've, I've noticed, I've realized over my six years as a financial planner. To illustrate the difference, I want to use the example of the board game Monopoly. A wealthy person or a person with a wealthy mindset playing Monopoly would put their money to work. As they advanced around the board, they would use every opportunity they could to trade their money, which is earning nothing just sitting there, for income producing assets. And in doing so, they're buying themselves time. They're using their money to buy money, which buys them time in the future. A poor person playing Monopoly would play very differently. They would go around the board, and when they hit other people's spots and landed there, they would pay that person money, so they'd be paying other people an income. And, you know, for their, for their effort of going around the board, they would collect their $200 each time. That's the difference between how rich people and poor people, or maybe not so rich people, view time. The difference is that rich people trade their money for time and poor people trade their time for money. Now, of course, we all start off working for money, but the difference is at some point, people who have a rich mentality or people who get rich, they graduate to starting to trade their money for money. They start buying time by buying assets that will pay them an income for the rest of their lives. And really they have their money working behind the scenes, making money for them. So more and more of their time is freed up. Poor people, on the other hand, they never graduate. They stick with always trading their time for money and it makes it so they don't have as much freedom. The mindset difference is that rich people treat their time like it's more valuable than their money. Why? Because it's actually true. Time is more valuable than money. You see, you can always make up for lost money. If you lose money, you can always find a way to make it up. But when it comes to time, once it's lost, it's gone forever. To illustrate, think about if someone had to work because they were in debt and they, they had to work during certain hours and because of that, they had to miss their daughter's karate match. There's no going back from that. No matter what they do, they will always have missed that karate match. But however, the money they made from working, they could have theoretically made any time during their life. So time is more valuable than money. And you can see this reflected in the mentality of rich people. They'll literally buy time. So how can we apply this to our lives? I say, since we all start off from the same place, or most people do, working for money, work to learn. Work to learn skills that will pay you dividends throughout the rest of your life. And then as you're working, as you have extra money, put as much of it as you can to income producing assets. When you do that, you're literally using your money to buy more money. And soon this will start to free up more and more of your time. You're free to do whatever you want to do, but while you're doing it, you're also present and can enjoy the free time that you have. Another thing you can do is to set an hourly rate for your time. I've heard this idea, I believe it was from Warren Buffett. And say you set an hourly rate of $250 per an hour. That means that if you could buy an hour for anything less than $250, you'll gladly pay the money. So say you got a speeding ticket and you know it would take an hour to fight it and it costs $200. Just pay it and save the hour. That will make your decision making a lot easier and it'll force you to choose your time over your money. To wrap up, I will be presenting a money webinar with my good friend Derek Guajardo on Wednesday, December 2nd of next week. Be sure to check that out. I have a link in the description if you want to. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. I have some exciting stuff coming up, including some amazing interviews and more content related to the mindsets that lead to building wealth. Again, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.